Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Sindelar, and recently there was a report from the American Heart Association, and I applaud them for always staying ahead of the subject of just how important oral health is on our overall health. But recently, the media has been misrepresenting some of the words in this report, and the word cause is a really big word. To stick cause on anything in a medical profession and in a medical research paper is almost impossible. It's time to set the record straight. The whole report by the AHA was not, it was not a new report looking at what's going on right now. They looked at research from over the last 60 years, and most of those, if not all of those, had an old view of what the problem is. If you look at all the old studies, they're flawed. This would be like looking back and getting a, a commercial from the 50s and seeing a physician on television telling you that you should smoke camel cigarettes. It's that out of line. The dental profession has looked at periodontal disease simply by looking at it or by taking a little probe and going around the mouth and measuring millimeter by millimeter. And it's very subjective, it's not very exact. It wasn't a very scientific approach. It was the best they had at that time, and that's what the American Heart Association was looking at. We're not looking at bleeding or non-bleeding gums. We're not looking at that old, old view of periodontal disease. We're looking at a new view, because what we're talking about now is much more elaborate. We're looking through a new lens at a problem that is a medical problem with a dental solution to help reduce heart attacks and strokes pay attention to the recent studies that are looking at microbial burden, oral inflammation, genetic variations. All of these things are very important on how we approach oral health and its effects on overall health. None of these studies addressed that. They were looking at the wrong problem. Looking at an old view of periodontal disease is not what's going on in regards to preventive cardiology today. So we can learn a lot from history but not when they're looking at historically the wrong things. We've got leading healthcare professionals in the country and in the world, preventive cardiology groups that are addressing oral inflammation and its effect on cardiovascular disease. Now that is not what these studies were looking at in the past. There are links to heart attacks at this point from oral inflammation and that is proven in so many research papers. You owe it to yourself to get educated on all the factors that are playing out right now. Go to the website drdansindelar.com.